Right, let's take another quick look at the Toshiba TG01. Here we are on the main home screen. I have found a few weird issues with this handset uh, when I'm making a phone call, for example. If the screen does go black, it's almost impossible to end the call. You'd have to basically turn the screen back on, which is a slight annoyance. Um, also, I found that the um, tilt mechanism here, you can, you can turn the phone on and find that the phone is is like that which is a little bit tricky for making phone calls you know you basically turn it on and you find that it's in landscape mode like that and you're trying to make a phone call and you have to wait for it to rotate back around and realize that it's actually um, in portrait mode or it should be in portrait mode and it, it's a little bit annoying but um, here we are with the browser this is a new version of Internet Explorer by the way we can use this zoom bar at the bottom here to zoom in uh, you may have just seen that zoom in like that to drag it to the right and it zooms in, drag it to the left and it zooms out. Or you can use these buttons here on the bottom that zoom out and zoom in on the bottom there. Um, so that's a new version of uh, Internet Explorer. By the way, it's it's a bit it renders slightly quicker and you can drag around a little bit like Opera, so you can do that. And it's very easy to look at websites and find the necessary bits of information that you need. Um, you can just tap in URLs here with the on-screen keyboard. It's very easy to use this on-screen keyboard. You can easily use that way, or you can flick it round and have it in the widescreen mode. And so if I just turn the keyboard on and we go to www.google.com. I haven't used the stylus in this demo because uh, it's at home. Um, obviously, as I mentioned in the earlier video, there's no way to put the stylus on this particular handset, um, which is a very, very thin handset. I must admit the Toshiba hardware is um, faultless, I can't fault it at all. It's a 1 GHz processor, it's got GPS, it's got Wi-Fi, um, it's very nippy indeed, although the tilt sensor is driving me slowly insane. Um, you can turn that off with the settings. Uh, and then system, I believe it is, and motion sensor settings here. You can also activate the shake operation. So if I turn that on, you can shake it to go to the today screen or answer a phone call. And you can turn off the auto screen orientation change, which is, you know, something that I would maybe want to do. But that's the great thing about Windows Mobile. You can turn these things on and off if they do drive you mental. Um, we've got this video quality setting mode here which is set to fine as uh, as as default but you can go to normal or turn it off um, we've also got power saving settings which I may have may change to uh, make my phone calls work a bit better um, best performance power saving customer temporary we've got uh, the master clear button which just resets it back to default GPS settings um, here we can adjust the motion sensor you see and we can use the G sensor and we can adjust it if it's not responding accurately so if you put it in a flat surface and the ball is slightly off center like it is here I can press adjust and it will adjust it back to the center and complete the adjustment there we go we're in the center now so you can use that installed programs on the TG01 include obviously call player which we saw earlier a contacts backup system here uh, Adobe Reader for reading a PDF, uh, home screen selector, which uh, again I showed you earlier. So we can either have that Toshiba system here, or we can have the orange panel there. Um, internet sharing, orange orange maps, which I can't show you right now, but we need to be outside for that. And uh, we've got this photo-based system, which is what you may have seen on the demos, where you can um, sort of click on a picture. If I click and hold on a picture there and you can zoom in pressing the plus button here and zoom out pressing that you don't use the zoom bar strangely enough the zoom bar sort of flicks you um, from one picture to the other by the looks of it so you can zoom in and you can pan around photographs or you can set it to um, do a nice slideshow so you can show people your photos um, if you wish and that's a great thing about this it does play videos it displays photos very well it's because of the capacious screen um, browsing the internet is a, just a doddle really it's really nice to browse the internet on this phone um, the 
I think it would benefit, unfortunately, and I have to say this, unfortunately, I think this phone would benefit greatly from having a different ROM, uh, and a ROM possibly with bits of HTC software in it. Uh, I really have to say that, unfortunately, it would benefit greatly from having a different ROM, because this, unfortunately, is Windows Mobile 6.1 with a, a slightly cool interface on the front and core player and that's about it and we've got this orange video player here which lets us well it's basically core player so I can click on a video here we've got that video that you get on every Windows mobile phone pretty much plays mp4 mpeg uh, WMV format we've also got a video editor so you can make your own videos with the, uh, the camera around the back um, and Windows Live, we've got Windows Media Player as well and that is about it unfortunately. Obviously you can install your own um, software uh, should you wish. Um, we've got all the orange tweaks on here, orange maps and TV and video here. If you press TV and video it goes to the orange um, Orange World page which you need to be an orange customer and be on an orange connection to do that. You can't do that over Wi-Fi. And, um, we can obviously flick between these panels which I showed you earlier so we can go into my music, my pictures, my videos, we can have a look at the calendar and um, my contacts etc just press press it once and you can add your own stuff into there as well so that's a quick look at um, the Toshiba TG01 software